This week in Scrap Mechanic, we were tasked to make a train-based challenge, and I did something that I've always wanted to do in Scrap Mechanic, and that is to make a steam locomotive simulator. So if you look at it, it's really kind of chunky, but that's just because there's a lot of stuff going on inside of it. But if we jump into the cab, I've kind of designed an entire steam locomotive interior with some gauges and some switches and buttons, and I'm trying to really teach my friends how to drive a steam train. Now, there are some differences to how it would work in real life obviously because it's scrap mechanic but I figured I would run you guys through the steps right away before we jump in with my friends and see how they get about trying to get these things to run so it can explode if you don't do things correctly and uh, overheat the engine so the first thing we of course want to do is fill up our tender with water if we open it up we can see the water level in the tender is extremely low now there's a bed of sensors so all we got to do is get our water tower which is conveniently not attached to anything and put it right next to our tender just like that perfect then we can of course jump back up on our tender activate our water tower and look at that it fills up the water it's just some color sensors it sees the colored pipe perfect so we fill up our water we're good to go and now our tender is fully loaded the next thing we got to do of course is get the water from the tender into the steam drain you can see our boiler is almost empty there's like no water on the glass there so in order to do that we have to of course fire up the injector now the injector works with steam pressure and we don't really have any steam pressure in our boiler you can see our steam pressure gauge is zero so we have our cardboard fuel so we take some of our cardboard fuel and we throw that right into the firebox it consumes the cardboard fuel you can see it turns on some lights there to let us know the firebox is active and we're now building steam pressure so we can fire up our injector and you can see it's using some of that steam pressure to use the injector to fill the boiler with water again from the tender pretty simple stuff so now we can turn off our injector we've got our water full there now in order to make our steam train move we've of course got the throttle bar and the forward reverse johnson bar so pretty simple we're gonna Put that in there, get some more fire going, build up some steam pressure. We still got water in the boiler, we're good to go. And we're of course going to push it forward. Now, this won't actually work. And the reason why this won't work is of course, well, we haven't pulled the throttle out. But number two, our brakes are still engaged. Now, I did the brakes a little bit different. I kind of did them more like a modern brake system. So, oh god, we got to make sure. If the water gets to zero and you're at max steam pressure, the thing explodes. There's no pressure relief valve. It just explodes. We'll do that after. But anyway, so I made the brakes a little bit different. Rather than doing the brakes like an actual steam train where you have to compress it to actually have brakes, I made it so you have to actually turn off the brakes, more like a modern system. So the brakes are currently engaged. And in order to turn them off, we first have to turn on the brake compressor, which if you hear... You can hear that motor spinning, so there's a little brake compressor mounted outside there. That turns it on. It does, of course, consume a little bit of steam pressure to use that, so not a big deal. We can just, again, put more cardboard in, keep that steam pressure going. And then, of course, we have to disengage the brakes by pushing this lever forward. So we do that, push it forward. Now our brakes are off, and then, of course, that means we can pull out our throttle bar. And if we pull out our throttle, we should start moving forward look at that so now we're moving forward our steam train is rolling and we're good to go and of course now we just have to keep the levels balanced so keep that injector going to bring that water value up when we need it i made it of course that you can actually flood the boiler so in real life this wouldn't really work this way my understanding from heist is if you overfill the boiler with too much water from the injector it just won't produce steam very quickly because you've got a lot of water mass that needs to heat up and you don't have a lot of space for steam to expand and of course you have only one firebox so your firebox is trying to heat that massive thing so what i did instead to kind of simulate that to an extent is if your injector is on and you've completely filled the boiler uh, it just stops your train from moving you can see we'll stop moving we'll move a little bit and we'll stop and that's as our steam pressure consumes some of the water in the tank so you turn off the injector the steam pressure will keep consuming water in the tank and boom done it just gives you an extra step to have to turn on and off the injector obviously in real life you'd adjust your inje injector with a little bit of a valve and you know not have it do too much and whatever else so you know pretty simple system we can of course now bring our bar back into reverse and uh, we could go backwards if we wanted to. And, and if, if it'll let me, there we go. Perfect. So now we're going backwards quite nicely. We can, of course, apply our brake as well. And that'll just stop us dead. Or we can put our brake forward and just keep going in reverse. And, you know, we got to basically just manage the level. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a lot of fire. So that'll consume our water level. 
as uh, eventually we've got we we overfilled it like crazy there we go it's starting to go down so we consume our water level we just keep just keep putting in the the fuel into the fire let it consume the water level you know of course we're consuming a little bit of steam with our throttle open so we should close our throttle just to make sure we don't consume any excess steam and uh you know and we'll, and we'll turn off our brake again not to consume any excess steam as well so that's pretty much it. it. It runs like a locomotive. It's not terribly complicated, but of course my friends have no idea how a steam locomotive works. So, you know, and, and there I, I, I let the water overheat without, yeah. So that's what happens. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Hopefully one of them explodes at least at some point. But I figured it was just a really, really cool simulator. It took a long time to build, surprisingly. I mean, there's a, just, there's a lot of, if we just jump in, we can take a look at the inside real quick. I'm not going to really explain how it all works but you can see there's just a lot of nonsense in here there's a lot of gauges with controllers and sensors to sort of monitor all your levels and uh, you know you got your values your gauges all that stuff so it did take a fair amount of time to build but i really wanted to build a simulator ish kind of thing because it's kind of a cool idea to build a simulator and maybe i'll build another one at some point in time that doesn't actually move i originally had this on the tracks but it got super laggy because this is already a very complicated creation so maybe i'll build a simulator where only the background moves next to you to give you the sense that you're moving and make it a little more complicated in the cab but let me know what you guys think and let's jump in with my friends and see if they can complete this challenge Alrighty, gents i hope you guys have like, you guys uh, you guys probably don't know much about steam locomotive i made a steam locomotive simulator okay so Mm, my it's, favorite game. It's basically a puzzle, because that's really <laughs> all it is. Um, so you guys have your, your inventory set with your fuel, which is your that's lovely... That's right. Beautiful. We're burning cardboard, which is like the most inefficient way to run a steam engine. But anyway, <laughs> and uh, it's a really... onion cardboard. Well, yeah, onion that's cardboard, right. yeah. There's onion. I, the I mean, power probably, of onions. I was... Honestly, <laughs> I tried to do a system with like wood in the refinery and stuff, but it just... It didn't work. And I was very disappointed because it would have been awesome to burn some wood. But you basically have to get all the way past the other end of the track. First person to do that is the winner but that's it you've got your steam locomotives uh you've also got watering towers you'll notice next to your steam locomotives you can move the watering tower with your lift if you want to um, what see the On watering Earth? towers the, the big i wood see home. that yeah you can move we it with can your move lift. those yeah if you want to move it with your lift i didn't like this normally, is part of the train well normally it would be laid out next to the train track right but like you know you can just move the move the watering tower if you have to you know it's it's your call i keep Literally do, we, do we need thing. it? We yeah, need why do I power. explain? This is not a steam locomotive. Well, steam locomotives take water, you know? They take water <laughs> and they take fuel. It's up to you to figure out how you're supposed to use those things effectively. Okay. All right. Okay. That's, do that's they carry per watering towers with them? All the well, time? no, <laughs> normally the watering to tower right would be now. on the track, what, and, but you know... I the simulator? <laughs> this, yeah, okay, listen, listen, okay? There's only it's so... There's only so much I could do. I figured it would be more enjoyable to let you guys try and figure out where the water's supposed to go and, like, how all that works rather than, mm -hmm. you know, just me, like, giving it to you, you know what I mean? So it's, it's an extra well, can step. Can you carry the water towers for no, us? No, I'm not carrying your water towers, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hop in, your, hop in your steam what, locomotive uh, yeah, over there, Mubo, my... and, uh... Yeah, is, that, is that mine over there? Okay. Yeah, yours can be over there. And uh, it's pretty simple. So, uh, you know, on the count of three, I'll catch you guys in. And then you got to figure out wait, how wait, to get... Wait, My water tower is not in a good position like Moombo's is right now. Is mine in a good position? I don't know. I feel like it is. All right. All right. Well, you guys... Are you guys ready? Are you guys... All right, yes. I'm ready. Maybe. Honestly, no, know. but yes. I All am right. not ready. I don't know, I don't what, know I'm doing. what I'm doing. I've, it, I've never driven a train before. It's it's right? basically just a puzzle. Think of it like a puzzle, you know, and you got to figure out the steps to get the train to move, and that's and that's pretty much it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Run your train. So let's go. Okay, Water. here we go. Ah. Open this okay. up. Okay, you so know that's what's going in there. That is the th So okay, well, we need this. I, you told me that fuel goes in here. Here. Right, there we go. Fuel. Scrabman's put fuel here. in his train already. That's interesting. Putting fuel in the train. I'm just. Really? I'm gonna press all the buttons. Scrabman's putting fuel in the that. train. Oh, whoa! Is this working? What does this do? Oh, okay, well, there's. Bubo's, it is working. Oh, that's so does, cool. Uh, Bubo did something. Why is it turning red? Why is it okay. turning? Red? <laughs> Scrabman blew up his you train. Just, <laughs> <laughs> did you overheat gone. that bad boy? He, uh, Scrabman, Scrabman blew up his train. Okay, I will. So I will. Scrabby, you to tip up your watering tower there. I will. uh Okay, here we go. I train. think I'm gonna. I need, well, that was fast, Scrabbit. I, I thought so I was gonna. Cover there you go. Up. I'll work on deleting the rest of your parts. And I don't know I, how we, train I know. works. I need to. Well, okay, wait. That's you're open the to valve. Put fuel and it goes. That's yeah, how yeah, that's works. that's true. But fuel, that's you know, not okay. filling up. Fuel creates oh, you know heat. What? And I, I think I know what I did wrong. What here. is this? 
I gotta open this. Okay, ah, I'm gonna go check on. I'm gonna go check on Moonbro. Crank this ah, open. I found what is this something. doing? Okay, Moonbo's, I'm trying to. Moonbo's just exploring here. I'm seeing what he's. I oh, thought I was gonna this, be able to I move water tell which here. Way this water tower is facing. We need an indicator um, when you're like. Oh hey, yeah, with the, the uh, yeah with the I, yeah I didn't think of that too with the, the I'm the scared lever to... arm. Okay, no, this is this has got to be some type of clutch All or right. something. Did I do it? What is that? Oh, this is it's doing one block nothing? away. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what have I done here? This is stuck. All right. You could probably hit right your water there. tower with a hammer if you needed to move it over a little bit, but... Hmm... Is that enough? Why... How Am I just I not filling up? What's in here? Okay, this is still what, full. Now it's too far? Dang it! Oh, wait, no, That's it's working. still full. Is that... Does that mean I'm what full is, now? Dare I press this okay. button? Oh, All I gotta right. put another so toilet seat on Scrap no. Did you... Oh, Why yes, Why am I did. not okay. getting any water? I don't know water. what this is. I don't know what this is. How do I... Okay, I feel like I'm missing a step here. But that there's only I, so many things to interact oh, with. This doesn't go but, anymore. But, I don't know what this is. It's so hard for me hold. because I can't I can't explain how this works. It will make what, sense I if I explain how it works. Is. You know what I mean? Like it's... Yeah. All right, I'm just going to give... Now that I... I'm going to give it fuel again. I don't know if there's a bad oh, idea no. or not. Oh, I thought I heard something break. It's probably just my left. Um, oh, am I going? This is the wrong way! You're no, going backwards? Scrapman was moving in reverse. Interesting for a second wait, there. No, wait, it's turning red again. Wait, how do I, I just gave the it pressure? fuel. That's heating. Oops, I accidentally deleted a block. My bad. Okay, that's... Un well, Scrapman moved. That was exciting. It's overheating. All right, go, go, that's go, not, go, I'm go. not moving. I'm going to overheat. Am I going? How come I could go backwards, but I can't go... I don't know how to forwards. ease off the heat. Go... Where's the go button? Is this the go button? Push I, it. I went backwards, but now I can't go forward. Am I moving? It's interesting. Am I Scrapman, moving? Scrapman I'm not moving. backwards, but he can't go forwards. It's actually interesting. Wait, I have water yeah. now. I did you get? Why how's can't I go How are you forward? doing, Bubo? You guys are actually you guys are actually doing a lot better Open than I that. thought you'd. Be. Ah, you have water. Yes, I see that. I don't know how I got it. I don't know what I did to get that water. Come on, oh, move that's interesting. Forward. You have water. Um, now the I mean, thing with steam trains engine. that you got to remember I'm gonna tell you guys Wait, both right okay, now steam trains they want to have water but they don't want to be full of water because you want to have enough steam at the top to actually generate the power right oh wait so how do I drain uh -oh, some uh -oh, of the water I think water. I did a mistake again uh, oh that was close how that's, do I that's drain the thing the with water? steam trains right if you put if you fill it with water then it won't generate enough steam right that's 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 fine scrap well, there's got to be a way to empty the water then. Well, How do I okay, empty the water? Well, a steam train empties water when it creates steam, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, but if there's no room for steam... Come on, start burning a little more. I don't even come know on. if... Why isn't it go... How come I could go backwards? All right, I'm going to move this back. Yeah, <laughs> I watch think me go back. Got really okay, oh, this opens the flume. This has to open the flume, right? That's, there's got, I'm, am I using steam locomotive terms right now? No, no, a flume no. is not... <laughs> The bar you just moved there is actually oh, called a Johnson okay, bar, have... is what it is. A Johnson bar. Yeah. All right. Named after the famous Sir Johnson train I engineer. Guess. I don't know. <laughs> you do okay, that. I feel like that. I don't know what this. Is. I'm just moving stuff around and hoping that something makes me go. I've got space in the water tank now. Wait, that's not. Engage this thing. Oh, I'm moving. Oh, Bubo's oh my moving. goodness. What? I'm moving. Moving? moving. I am moving. I, am moving. I have Bumbo, space help. in my He's water moving. tank. He's I'm, moving. I'm at half temperature. He's moving. Wait, are we going? Okay, How my water I... tower is getting really far. I don't know if this is... I'm just going. I'm just... Yep. Everything Bumbo's, is maintaining. Bumbo is moving. I'm watching hmm. my temperature here. Everything's looking good. Water yep. levels are good. Yeah. I don't yep. know how to change the water levels. Um... Well, if you create steam pressure, I'm going to let Moombo drive away there and see what here. happens. I'm going to come back and check on you, Scrap Man. Wow. Oh, man. All aboard! I always uh, wanted I'm to say sure that. that. has to be in the forward position. Oh, yeah, I should have put a but... whistle on it. I didn't. Oh, there's, I, this is not a simulator. I feel like this thing is just going to keep going. I'm just going to feed it some fuel. Burn that fuel. Oh. The water is lasting. Oh, well, it's Scrap burning man, now. Scrap Man. Scrap Man. Uh-huh. Scrap Man, your 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 steam pressure is going down. Give it down. a little water. So you are well, using yeah, steam pressure, up. but but oh, this is you so notice cool. that orange? Look at your orange. Your orange. It's called an injector. 
Yeah, uh -huh. you're still pumping oh, no. too much water in. That's more what the orange fuel. thing no, does. No, I don't need more it's fuel. An We're still moving. An injector uses steam pressure to generate water flow to pump water into the engine. Okay, that's not helping me uh, understand any of that. Well, that's so why your water was full. This, but now if this is off, see, and then you make fire, you're going to make more steam. So that's I'm perfect. I'm putting... Well, yeah, then how does it go? <laughs> well, well, what what is red? Build... That's good. Hmm. You got tender water. That's good. What is red? Red is normally like what? Like, like a break, Stop. right? Yeah, so if you remove- Wait, the... what? I did this before! I just- This <laughs> but is you a did... random assortment! <laughs> wait, wait, my water tower's- Okay. Uh, I'm at the end of the right. track! Now that I'm going... See, okay. now you just gotta balance the levels, you know? Ooh, now you just I got... still don't even- Did you make really it to the end, Moombo? Are you- You're just I'm still- the end. Wow, you're still- go... Are you still driving, or do you stop? Uh, I, I'm still going. I can just- I'm put... going... I can probably just turn the engine off here. I guess that's the ignition okay, for so sure. Okay, so that is brake off. Yeah. That is Ooh. forward. That is engine on. Yeah. This has to do with the water. Yeah. So I'm losing pressure. So if I open this up, you'll get your water, water, on the water lift. and then I close it, and that creates more. I'm gonna need a little bit more fuel now. Yeah. There you go. I think I'm understanding. I think I'm understanding now. I just didn't know why it wasn't going before. I felt like I had all these conditions. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Steam no, engines no, no, are no. allowed to be max pressure as long as there's still uh, water in the tank. But look at your uh, water level. Watch your water scary, level. Though. Your water level. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. go. Fill it up. There we go. Don't fill up too much. Am I still going? I yeah, am still going. You're good. Where am I? Now you're operating a steam <laughs> train. <laughs> Congratulations. You know the steps. Train. Yay. <laughs> I think I must have always had the brake on when I yeah. had every other condition right, and then like I just kept doing it wrong. And so I the brake, the brake I did more like a modern brake, which is a little bit different, where you have to like pressurize That's it to why. release See, it. See, if it was like a classic steam engine, I would yeah. have known exactly. <laughs> well, a classic steam engine wouldn't have brake on unless you like clamp it down, and I, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but it's a pretty simple process. So your tender is in the back of a steam train. Yeah. It generally is in the back. You fill that with water right away before you leave the station, and that's like your main water supply, right? Yeah. Yeah. This little orange guy is called an injector. This is what brings water from the tender through a pipe into your boiler. But they I didn't have pumps feeling. back then. So to pump it, it uses steam pressure. So you have to put in an initial amount of fire to generate some steam pressure, which is this pressure gauge over here. And then you can fire the injector. So without steam pressure, you won't get water in. But of course, if your steam mm. pressure gets to max without any water, your thing explodes. Because, oh. you know, it, it's uh, not actually how it works. It would really just, like, kind of melt and then explode. But, you know, science yeah. stuff. Anyway, and then this big bar up here, this big horizontal bar, that's actually your throttle bar. So the more you pull that out, the more you're giving throttle to the uh, oh. to the pistons, which moves you forward. Oh. This bar here is your forward and reverse bar. So if it's in the middle... Yeah, I figured that out right away. Yeah, yeah you go nowhere. <laughs> and if it's backwards, you go in reverse. So we you can just flip backwards. this backwards. And then this is your brake pump. So it used a little steam turbine to pressurize your brake line, which is what this does. It has to be on for your brakes to work. And then this is your brake lever. Hmm. And that's it. So this would, if you hmm. close this, it applies your brake. Fascinating. Anyway, that's how well, steam I trains. learned something. And now there's going to be a, a million comments telling me all the things I did wrong with steam trains. I look forward to reading them. Right, yeah. I want to blow up my train again. Okay, well, just yeah, do it. Let, Wait, the, you water, drain let the, water. the water drain out and let the pressure. Get it would have been back. cool if you had like a a valve to like you know drain the water tank as well and stuff like that. Well, normally like I'm a assuming full... they do have them. Yeah, they have a ton of valves for all sorts of stuff like. Oh, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, real steam <laughs> trains they got valves for draining the boilers and stuff, or like if they go and store yeah. them, they have to drain them and all sorts. It's a very simplified version, but pressure I was relief I valves. Use, Kind of impressed you guys figured it out pretty quick, but I was worried that you wouldn't figure it out at all. <laughs> Only Scrap Man blew himself up. Moombo didn't blow himself up once. I used to I... be a hull technician, so I uh, yeah, I know a thing or two about systems. I, I thought for sure you would have blown it up, but uh, I originally <laughs> when I thought of this, I was like, maybe I should make it so that if you get one step wrong, it blows up. But then I was like, no, that'll be, you guys would die. Yeah, I usually try to blow things up, so I succeeded. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You, you're I'm, the real I'm winner. I'm a winner. I'm Scrap the real Man winner did here. exactly what I thought someone was going to do and threw fuel in right away without figuring out how to get the water going and that, that's how that you was, live excitingly that, yeah just that was it but uh yeah thanks for playing my challenge make sure you guys check out the other guys train challenges uh you know it was a uh, pretty pretty lengthy one to build just because of all the logic but i really want to try and make a steam train it's really good simulator i'm probably going to throw this at my buddy heist too and see if he can figure it out <laughs> faster than you guys can i'll do a little time trial thing but uh yeah let us know what you guys think in the comps down below and check out the other guys train 
creations, oh. and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.